What's going on traders? This is Jack with the Trading Tribe and today we are back at it with another tutorial on Thinkorswim. So excited to bring some more value today and go over how to set up hotkeys within Thinkorswim as well as how to actually use them in your trading day to day. This is something that's really helped from a day trading perspective on just getting into trades quicker and then getting out of that same trade quicker as well. Because if you you know rely on getting out manually and getting in manually, it can sometimes have a, a pretty big delay when day trading. So hopefully this helps quite a bit. Really easy to set up in Thinkorswim as well. So depending on your trading broker, right, this process can differ slightly. But within Thinkorswim here, up at the top right hand corner of the main application or window, right, we have our setup. So if we open up our setup within Thinkorswim and we go into our application settings, this is really where a lot of that account information is going to live as well as really where we can set up different things that pertain to our account. And in this case, right, if we come into the hotkeys tab, here is where we can actually begin to format what our hotkeys will actually look like along with which hotkeys are actually enabled within the system. And so we'll see here in this general tab, right, we have quite a few hotkeys that are essentially navigation. So instead of actually going to monitor up at the top, for example, right, we can actually just do control M. Same thing with, you know, getting over to your charts, right? Instead of going and clicking charts, if you're on the monitor tab, right, we can actually set that up to be just a keyboard shortcut. So if we click on one of these, for example, Thinkorswim will have a default here, but you can also customize it, which is really nice. So I've made a lot of these that I actually use in the general section, just control, and then the first letter of that tab. So control C, is for charts, control M is for monitor, and just to make it kind of streamlined and easy, that's kind of how I've set it up. You also can get pretty advanced here, so if you want to flip between charts quickly, right, you can have even some of that hotkey based as well. So really nice in terms of just navigating through Thinkorswim, you don't have to click for everything, right, but you can set up hotkeys to actually automate quite a bit of that as you're moving day to day through Thinkorswim. One other thing to mention is up here at the top right hand corner of every single tab, there is a little enabled checkbox. I believe some of these are actually turned off by default with the system. So definitely make sure you actually enable these so that before you start testing within that sandbox or, you know, default trading environment, right, you want to make sure those hotkeys are actually turned on and enabled. If we go down, right, the active trader set of hotkeys is definitely the most popular portion of the video here. And this is really where I actually use the hotkeys the most. And these are for those entries and exits like we talked about. And so you can use these as needed. There's quite a few options by default. You are somewhat limited here. I know some applications will let you set up a stop loss and move your stop loss to break even. And they have some really nice functions here for hotkeys. Thinkorswim is a little bit basic here, but a lot of these are still very useful. So if we want to get into the market, for example, and hit the bid and just buy market, for example, this is a really quick way to actually do that without having to open up Active Trader, pick your price or click buy market and actually initiate it with a bunch of clicks. Right? Instead, we can hit this three key command in my system at least, and then that's essentially going to buy us in at the market. Same thing with sell at the market, and you can customize these. I have them pretty quick for entry. I don't hit the bid or ask, I hit the market but on both sides you can customize these as needed and I obviously use market orders to get in and out quite a bit here. We can also do the same thing for canceling orders, right? So if an order is not of interest anymore, I'll use this quite a bit because if I have fantasy orders sitting on the chart, instead of going and manually exiting all of those, right, you can make it a quick keyboard shortcut as well to actually cancel all 
orders. I believe this is one of those sections that is turned off by default. So really, really important there to make sure this is checked off before you actually do this within the system. And then there are a few more tabs, but hopefully that kind of shows you some of the power here, right? You're essentially having those trading application features enabled right through to your keyboard. And so it makes it a lot easier to actually get in and out of trades and move around in the system without clicks. And obviously as day traders, right, everything is pretty dependent on the actual time. So sometimes when you see an entry, right, if you're on the one minute chart, for example, right, you're gonna really wanna make sure you have a refined entry. And I've found that hotkeys can really help when trading. One other thing is you can print these out. So once you've set this up throughout your system, right, you can print this out, which makes it really nice, really easy to remember. I actually use what's called a stream deck. So I'll make another video on that, but I've essentially tied what we call a stream deck to a lot of these hotkeys. And so it's essentially just a set of buttons that sits by my trading setup, where in instead of actually doing these commands on my keyboard, I can essentially just code these into what we call a stream deck. So really cool functionality there. I'll make another separate video kind of going over that. But once you've kind of configured this to your liking, we can click apply settings. I obviously recommend testing all of this on the paper trading side of things to make sure it's working effectively. But from there, right, you can actually run with it and actually use these keyboard shortcuts. So hopefully this really helps kind of showing the power of hotkeys within the system, how we can actually set those up as well as customize those within Thinkorswim. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. We have a lot more value coming this year and thank you everybody for watching.